Hi guys, welcome back to another Airsoft Station video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HK 416A5 by Umarex. Now the version that I have in my hands here is the bronze version, but we do have it available in black as well. Now, I know you're going to say to me, Anthony, they've already made a 416. What's new with the A5? Well, there are a ton of features that they've done different on this. So to start, the A5 has a different rail system, it has a different pistol grip, has different sights, has different stock, and it is ambidextrous now. So let's start with the awesome rail here. So this is going to be the 416A5 rail. It is going to have the integrated front flip up sight. It is going to have plenty of rail space uh, for anything that you would like to do, and it is removable. So if you do decide to swap it out with something that is HK or Airsoft compatible with the Airsoft, you can take it off, put it on, um, it comes off just like the real rail with the nut right here, slides right off. Now, moving on to the ambidextrous features on this. So you're going to have ambidextrous fire selector. You're also going to have a ambidextrous bolt catch. Very nice as well and the ambidextrous magazine release, which is featured on both sides. Moving up to the top here, this is the 416A5 rear sight. So it is a little bit different compared to the standard, uh, almost like an MP5 rotary style where it turns. This is more of a flip up with a front pin. Um, so that is different on this one. Um, the charging handle is a little bit different. It has this assist on it now, which is very nice. And moving farther back, this is the 416A5 stock. So it is not going to be able to provide as much battery space, but it is a lot slimmer. So that is nice as well. It's more ergonomic. Steam six position is standard adjustable stock, but very nice overall. Internally, this rifle comes fitted with the esteemed VFC Avalon gearbox, which features improved bearings and is operated by high torque motors powdered by neodymium magnets. Using low friction steel bearings and high performance buckings ensures rapid and smooth gear change along with long lasting durability. Hmm, pretty nice. The rifle is rear wired, holding the battery in the stock. You are going to want to make sure that you use LiPo batteries to get the maximum performance out of this rifle. Internally, spec wise, the gun roughly shoots about 390 feet per second, has an inner barrel of 300 millimeters, weighs about 6.75 pounds, and the magazine holds 320 rounds. There is a 20 millimeter Picatinny top rail, which we talked about in the beginning of the video, but we just like to point it out now. It also has a quick change spring system and is powered by a very nice high torque motor. Okay guys, now that we've talked about the internals and exteriors of this rifle, let's go ahead and take it to the chrono range and see how it performs. Closing remarks that I'm going to have for this is if you're looking for a very nice high-end AEG that's going to be Milsim ready, if you're looking for like, oh, you know, I want to do a Milsim loadout, but I don't want to do an MK-18 because everyone else is doing an MK-18, the 416 might be a very good choice for you. Uh, it's still very kosher for most kits that you're going to be performing and putting together. And it would also be a really great gun if you're just going to be going to open play. The performance is absolutely off the wall. The build quality is there. It's a solid full metal gun. It is a little bit heavier, so you know, do keep that in mind if you are going to be running around with this for you know 10 hours. Make sure you have a very comfortable sling. But overall, I'd highly recommend this to any higher end player or somebody that wants to get into the Milsim scene. That's all for this video, guys. Now, before you leave, don't forget to go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon for us so we get notified every time we publish a video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.